What's going on guys? Today we're going to install some max speed rod coilovers on Danny's 2008 Honda Fit. Danny uses this car as his daily driver, but we're going to take this Fit to an ASR Super Lap event on, hopefully in June. Today's June 3rd, we have an event on June 19th. If we don't make that event, we're going to take it to the event in July. And so he'll be driving on these for at least a couple of weeks daily before we take it to the event. And then he'll continue to use them after that. Maybe uh, he'll take it out to some other events. And uh, he'll let us know. I want, to, want him to report back to me on how they feel. Right now he's on lowering springs, which are probably really comfortable. But we want to get some usage out of them and see how they feel on a car that's daily driven, if the shocks last, and if they can handle the abuse we throw at it as well. These come with a 10 and an 8K spring rate should be a solid setup for the weight of the fit. One thing that we found, trying to put the front ones on, the original shock, obviously they're a lot larger, so the bolt that he was using, it doesn't fit on these, so we're gonna have to drill them out a little bit, which I think is very uh, inconvenient. Second issue we're encountering is that when this is where it needs to be, it's hitting the arm right here and we're not able to install it. We had the top of it installed first, but we can't seem to get it on the bottom. We're gonna probably notch the Let's cup a little bit. Same with yours. Let me yeah, see. Yeah, I mean, the distance coming from the top bottom. So it's hitting here to the top part. Okay. Let's see how we can fix it. So before touching them, I went ahead and looked at it and you can see See how this is offset? So you have to reverse the sides because now we have full range of movement and it doesn't hit the arm. When uh, we had it the other way, you could see the other side was rubbing on the arm right here. So if you're installing these or using these, make sure you have them on the, on the right side. You can see it here easily in the camera. Here we are finished for the day on the car. Next footage you'll see will be at the track. He's gonna keep driving it for the next three weeks and we're hoping to get out there on June 19th. Today's June 3rd. Give you an idea of how much time we have and he's gonna make maybe a little more adjustments to the suspension here and there if he needs it. We left the back a little low. Maybe the front will settle more but he'll take care of that over the next week or so and adjust it to his likings. See you guys here shortly.
on those tires. Yep.
See, I'm on full throttle here. Right. Your brakes feel great. Use those to your advantage. I come in, I'm braking too early because I'm not familiar with your car. Right. And use it like a 90 degree turn. I'm just doing this because this guy. I don't need a downshift there. See, this is where you want to stay. And then when you can break in as much as you can on these little cars, I'm on full gas already. But I'm going to cut in because I got someone faster than me. I'm going to let off because I don't want to slow this guy up. So that's it for the fit today, guys. It survived. Coilovers felt really good. Danny, Danny let me drive it for a session. I liked it. Danny, what'd you think? I think it's awesome. It's a big night and day difference. From your uh, drop springs? Yeah, from drop springs. Cool. Danny's gonna give us some updates as he continues to daily drive it. Hopefully he gets back out here for another session. We'll definitely keep you guys updated on how this turns out. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.